Do you ever just wish you could restart an entire project over again? I have a custom action for that. Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Productions, and we're going to build a custom action to reset an entire project. If you haven't already, please like and share, and if you haven't subscribed, consider doing it. It'll help grow the channel. Um, let's get started with this custom action. Now you can see we have our project from uh, our second mixing series up, and we have a whole bunch of tracks. A lot of them had some editing. There are some cross, some... Uh, fade ins fade outs there is volume automation there is some sliced tracks with gain items on them if i could find one like right here it's volumes turned down on that so what this action won't do if you've made like edits like but down here in the background vocals i edited if you remember, there were some like issues with the beginning and endings of phrases. So I had moved and edited those out. It will not bring it back to like, say the original file. It'll keep those edits there. So if you're happy with those edits, it's, you can go ahead and do this action. If you are, however, not happy with any of the edits you've made, I suggest before running this action that you go back to like the first original part delete like everything behind it and then drag it out let's let's just do that real quick see this is a section because the rest of it was all like there's no singing so what i'm going to do well because we're going to reset everything back to zero anyway so you can just delete shift left click over everything make sure i got it all no nope. let's go to the end Delete those items and then go back way over here to the beginning. Scroll out a little bit and you can just drag those out to the end to match the other tracks if that's what you want to do beforehand. But seeing as we're not and before you even try to run this action, I suggest saving your project as a separate file name. I added, have it set as reset to, I had, um, done this before but then I kept adding stuff to it to this action so we're going to show you what it does so let me expand this back out zoom back in so you can see some of the stuff like find a good spot where there's some automation points I'm going to drag this window down if I can a little more oh that's as far as I can go make that a little smaller so you can see the automation. Well, some of it's smaller. Let's make that a little bigger. It'll get rid of the automation points. All the gain staging that I did will all set back to zero and all the tracks will get glued. So let's show you, let's quit talking and show you what it does first. So I'm gonna go to actions, show action list, even though I could select from that menu there. My custom action is reset entire project. I'm going to click run. Continue custom action, reset entire project. Okay. And then it's running. It's working. And what's going to take the longest is if you have a lot of sliced tracks, it's going to take a minute to glue everything together. As you can see here. I'll probably speed this part up because there's a lot of tracks that I sliced and diced. Oh, I guess not. Let's see. All envelopes for selected tracks will be removed. Do you want to continue? Yes. So that's all finished. I'm going to close this. As you can see, all the everything is back to how it was when you started. All the tracks are going to the master fader. If there are tracks you don't want to reset, you can hide them in the track manager, but it will remove the routing. I don't know why I tested it earlier to see if it would work. It doesn't mess with any of the, um, any, any slicing or 
uh, volume and panning that you've done, but it will remove the routing, which I'm not sure why, because it's hidden. It shouldn't be selected anyway. So that's all that is. So now let's take a look at this action. Show the action list. I'm going to click reset entire project and I'm going to show click on edit. I'm going to put this in the middle of the window and I'm going to I'm going to zoom in on this part so you can see it better. We have quite a list of actions. You will need the SWS extensions for some of this. And I'll leave a link in the description below on where to download that at. So you can see there's like quite a bit, quite a few items here. So let's start at the top. Action, prompt to continue. Only valid within custom actions. That was the first dialog box that popped up saying, are you sure you want to do this? Uh huh. Next, it will select all of the tracks. Next, it will select all of the items that are in the tracks, like the slice tracks. It'll make sure all of those get selected. Next, it'll clear all the FX chains for the selected tracks. Remove sends from selected tracks. Remove receives from selected tracks. Enable master parent send on selected tracks. Then reset volume and pan of selected tracks. Remove fade in and fade out. I had did not find one and I was looking earlier to see if there was one that removes crossfades and there isn't one. So I'm not sure I didn't have any crossfades in this project. So if anybody does this and has crossfades, and tests this out and if it removes the crossfades like like fade in fade out which is basically what a crossfade is except it's overlapping if it removes it please let me know in the comment section below next reset items volume to 0 db then we're going to glue items ignoring time selection then select all the points for the envelopes uh, your volume automation any automation envelope delete all selected points then envelope delete automation items remove all envelopes for selected tracks will remove the um, any any uh, automation you've done then it'll unselect all the tracks clear selection of all tracks and then unselect clear selection of all items now the glue items ignoring time selection if you don't have a time selection set up it, it it should still run like normal i just had to put that up there because when i was testing this again when I, I added i added the glue items before i shot the video so i tested it and i was like oh let me see if it just works and anything that was outside of the time selection didn't get glued so i went ahead and told it to ignore the time selection and that's all there is to this action like I said, if you've made edits and like separated some things out, it won't like move everything back together like the original file. You'll have to delete all of those and then drag it all the way back out again to get rid of any edits if you don't like your edits. Now, another thing that this won't do, because I have a tendency to turn left and right tracks into stereo tracks like I did on the drums if they weren't. Yeah. These were that it won't explode them back into single takes. I mean, you probably build that back into you probably build that in after you glue the tracks together. But that's for another time. I might just like load up a couple of like um, stereo tracks and do the reset thing and test it on that instead of on a full project. So if that works, I'll, I'll make an updated video. Yes, this wasn't exactly a quick tip, but a tip nonetheless, especially if you've lost your mind and you need to redo everything. So what else would you add to this action? Would you add any of this? Would you use this action if you needed to? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.